There are numerous books, papers, and websites that describe the value and benefits of systems thinking. What seems to be missing is a short, usable approach for developing a systemic perspective for a specific situation. This is the first in a series of videos intended to provide that short, usable approach. The typical approach for dealing with situations is first to find someone to blame, then directly attack the situation. Seldom is there an effort to understand what's actually responsible for the situation. A systemic perspective considers that events have associated patterns of behavior. These patterns of behavior are the result of interactions within an underlying structure. By identifying and understanding the underlying structure, approaches for altering the basis for the situation can be identified and implemented. Developing a systemic perspective is the best approach for understanding the underlying structure responsible for a situation and developing a strategy for dealing with that situation while minimizing the likelihood of unintended consequences. A systemic perspective is developed based on a situation, not a system. For the moment, just remember this. The rationale for this will be addressed in the next video. Think beyond the moment and identify the patterns of behavior over time associated with the situation. These patterns may be identified from collected data, our own experience, or from the stories of others. Seek out and understand the network of interactions actually responsible for the patterns of behavior. Consider all relevant stakeholder perspectives, who influences the interactions, and who is influenced by the interactions. Identify which interactions are within the domain of responsibility and addressable. This serves as a boundary for the system. The interactions outside the domain of responsibility are part of the environment the system interacts with. Note that there may be more than one relevant boundary. In each of the previous activities, assumptions were made. These assumptions should be surfaced and challenged for validity in the context of the situation. From a systemic perspective, we look for leverage points, not the root cause. Points where we can alter interactions to enable the changes we wish to see in the patterns of behavior. This set of activities is considered necessary for developing a systemic perspective. They are also considered to be iterative, meaning that each one may need to be performed more than once as understanding develops. The remaining videos in this series will further detail for each activity associated with developing a systemic perspective. Additionally, each activity will be employed in the development of a systemic perspective for a specific situation. Please continue with Situations, the next video in this series.